When people stand together, when we use our collective voice, when we stand in solidarity, we can drive extraordinary change because it is we who stand together as the collective who have the power and the ability to see what can be unburdened by what has been. Donald Trump told the crowd, and I'm going to quote, I don't care about you, I just want your vote. We, we often hear people in the city where our capital sits say, well, if um, the American people just don't understand, the American people you often hear just don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what we know. They don't read the news. They don't keep up like we. So recently, Mr. President, I conducted a poll to, uh, to test that point of view. And uh, some were surprised with the results of the poll. I, I, I was not. Um, one of the questions I asked in the poll of the people in Louisiana is how frequently would you say they, uh, they follow the new news? Television news, both national and also particularly local, is king in Louisiana with 60% of, uh, of uh, the people saying that's my go-to news source. But the, uh, the Internet uh, is also a substantial factor at 27%. 27% of my people, 70% of whom read the news every day, get their news from the Internet. Um, Radio news is also important in my state. Uh, Seven percent of my people in chain uh, listen to radio news as their primary source of news. And uh, coming in last, consistent with national trends, uh, only uh, only four percent of my people uh, receive their news today from newspapers. My how how the world has changed. I just found these numbers to be interesting to President. Um, the source of, 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 of news for most of my people was interesting to me, but I was very, very pleased to find that 70% of my people in, uh, in Louisiana read the news every single day. And in most cases, they get it from television, but also the internet and, uh, and radio uh, as well. Um, sometimes we get it wrong in Washington in terms of our perception of what's going on in the real America. And with that, Mr. President, I suggest the absence of... No, I don't. I see you, the lady here, Mr. President, shaking her hand. I can't, head. I can't do that. What would you like me to do? Oh, we're automatically adjourned when I'm done, huh? Well, I'm done, so we're adjourned. So you can bang the gavel, Mr. President. We stand adjourned until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning.